All right, guys, this is the end result of this video. It's basically making a cow into a mount. All right, I don't cover a lot of things, and I kind of skip over a lot of stuff that I'm hoping you guys know already and already have. But if not, I'll have links in the description below for various things that I used. Um, but, yeah, so ho hopefully you guys learned something new and enjoy the video. I kind of stutter over my words because I'm really tired right now. But uh, it is what it is, and, uh, yeah. Alrighty, bye bye. All right, this video is gonna try to show you guys how to make a uh, how to turn a creature that's not a mount normally into a mount. All right, this is not gonna cover how to make it into a custom mount, like all the DBC editing and stuff like that. I'm not gonna cover that. I'm just gonna cover how to make it work as a mount so that you actually appear on it. Cause uh, some uh, a, a, a lot of creatures that aren't mounts, when you try to use it as a mount, um, you'll in a sense sort of morph into it um so this is going to show you how to uh, add like a mounting point and how to adjust it and such all right i'm going to be using a cow for the example and uh i'm kind of just freestyling this um so i'm going to be doing things a lot uh, uh in the wrong orders but it gets the job done all right, so first thing I want to do is uh, this wild parser program. I want to just put this somewhere. I guess I'll put it into this folder, put it into the here. This is basically turning DBC files into CSV text files and such. All right, so I'm going to be using the magic rooster as my guide. Not rather guide, but my switch. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be using the cow, like I said, and I'm, I'm going to get the cow and, and I'm going to switch it with the magic rooster. And this will just allow me to do it this way instead of having to um, to set a new spell, a new custom spell, and for a new custom mount, mount and uh, and such. So so it'll save me that hassle. All right. So go into my core folder, then my DBC folder, because this is where I most most of my untouched DBC files are at, are, are at uh, anyway. So if ones I need is a creature display info and creature model data. Copy the, this into the wild parse, turn these into text files so I can look at them. All right, and then um, open them in Notepad++. So um, so within my database, I'm going to cheat a little bit. That thing is called Magic Rooster, right? All right, so I'm just going to uh, just filter this by name. So the cow one is 1060. I want, I, I want to uh, remember that. All right, so this is Magic Rooster. I'm just gonna filter this by, uh, oops, go to custom, then Magic Rooster. All right, and then this one is uh, 29344. All right, so within my display ID, I wanna search for 29344. And there it is right there. The uh, model ID is 3132. I wanna go into creature model data, go to 3132. So around there, and this, and the chicken uh, rooster, the uh, rooster mount is located within a chicken, uh, a chicken mount folder, and then chicken mount dot in two. I just want to copy these so I can just have it on hand. All right, and then um, and the chicken mount that's the texture. So I just want to leave that there. Just by by pasting these things, I'm I'm not gonna necessarily use them, but for me, it's just easier for me to remember. It's kind of like when you write something down, you you remember it better. If I copy and paste something, I remember it better. That's just how my mind works. All right, and then uh, the um the cow, the display ID for that was 1060. So I want to manually scan because there's probably a lot of a lot of 1060s around here anyway. So let me just manually go there. So 1060 model ID is 155. Again, just ma just manually go there. That's too low of a number. I'm probably just gonna get a bunch of matches. So 155 is creature cow cow in two. So from here, I want to I, I gotta close out WoW. Go into my uh, data folder for my Wrath Lich King install and go through these and try to find the cow in two and skin and textures and such. So here and then cow. Cow textures here. I want to extract these to a patch inside of here. So I'll make a patch z.mpq. I use folder patches because they're easier to work with than uh, mpq patches, in my opinion. They might leave a bigger size, but that's not a big problem to me. All right, so I need to find the m2 now. So that was in the common. Uh, let's check the common two uh, creature cow. 
Calum2 is here. All right, cool. Extract these into that patch folder. All right, close these out. And then now I want, I, I have to rename this stuff. All right, so I want to, uh, to uh, rename this to what exactly again? See, this is why I copy and pasted it. Chicken mount. All right, and then uh, and, and then the, the the name is chicken mount dime two whatever. So chicken mount uh, chicken mount zero zero chicken mount zero one. All right, and then uh, the texture for that is chicken mount. But then which one do I replace? The one that's called cow. All right, so cow will go. We'll change it into chicken mount. All right. So now if I log into the game, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, turn into a, it's gonna show me as a cow because there's no mounting point on it and I'll show you what I'm talking about all right so when I go in game and eventually and this one it goes through do 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 there you go a cow all right so and such I'm mounted right uh, right now it's just that this thing has no mount point so it doesn't show anything all right so to add a mounting point, all you, all you gotta do is just uh, I'm gonna just hopefully you guys had uh, had this stuff all, uh, all already. If not, downloads in the description below. Such. All right. So within uh, O and O editor, uh, grab the um, the M the M2 file, the chicken mount M2, uh, M2. Drop it in here. I'm sorry if I'm tripping over. Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry if I'm tripping over my words. Um, uh, I'm really tired. All right, and I've been doing a lot of things. Period. Okay, so apply the M2 template. Um, hopefully you guys know how to apply templates. If not, just, just open it up, just go to template, just open up the M2 file, go to template, open template, find the BT file that, you, that you'll download eventually if you don't have it yet, and then apply it, all right? Just run it and, it, and it'll apply it and so on and so forth. So open this up, go down to the bottom down here, I think, should be something about attachment points or something. All right, attachments here. All right, not that yet. Go to attachment lookup. The first one should be a zero. All right, non mounts usually have a different number here, but mounts have a zero here. All right, put, uh, just put a zero there. Save it. Control S. Go back in here. I'm gonna log out with the macro. Just slash camp in a macro. Go back in. I should be mounted on top of it now. All right. This is the reason why I have a folder patch, so I don't have to close out the whole game and reload it. This is so much faster. All right, how much time do um, am I on? All right, cool. Okay, and so I'm gonna just uh, go back into here, minimize this, go back into my uh, thing. All right, sometimes the bone that you're on isn't gonna be like optimal. All right, like this one's good, but sometimes you get on a bone that's gonna look like this. I've already done this already, so yeah. Yeah, so that's why I kind of know what to set. But sometimes it'll be on a bone like this and you'll be all out of whack. All right, like I'm on the side now and such. So sometimes you'll get something like that. So you got to go through and look at whatever bones that are currently uh, shown or being attached right now and try to switch between them and hopefully one of them will work for you. All right, uh, sometimes there isn't anything and you're kind of stuck. There's nothing you can do. All right. Now, what you want to do is, uh, well, let me just, uh, yeah, that's fine. So um, go to the position of the first attachment, the zero attachment. Um, change these positions around. Um, this is uh, this is their version of X Y Z. But uh, if you do normal 3D, like if you do like a Blender or uh, like like 3ds Max or Cinema 4D or Maya, whatever, there's a common X Y Z uh, format. All right, this kind of follows the way how it works. All right, so the first one is Z, second one is X, and last one is Y. Y, uh, y is up, uh, Y is up and down. Uh, Z is forward and backwards. X is, is side to side. All right. So if I uh, if I log out, make sure I'm saved on that. All right. So I'm over to the side too much, right? And I'm facing forward too much right so z is forward and backwards so if i make this like zero she's gonna get pushed back if i make this zero she's gonna get centered in the middle in a sense all right you might still have to play with it but so on and so forth all right so as you can see she was pushed back and now she's centered sort of all right so she, i need to move her to the right a, a little bit 
So a higher a, a, a higher positive number of Z pushes her forward, a higher positive number of X moves her, uh, basically, if you're looking from uh, from the back, it moves her uh, to the left, all right? If it's negative, it goes to the right. If it's negative on the Z, it goes back. All right, something with, with Y uh, the up and down. All right, so uh, I want to, uh, this is Z, X, and Y. So I want to move this over a little bit, so maybe like a 0.1, that might be too much. We'll see, so let me just log out, log back in. All right, so she's moved over a bit too much, so let me just do a point, uh, five, oh, uh, point zero 0.05, all right, we log. All right, all right, now she's centered, that's good. Now you wanna raise her up, right? So we just gotta make this a little bigger. Let's try to make this 1.61, save. I'm, I'm just throwing the number out there. I don't know what the actual number is good or not. Um, that looks good, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, so that's how you, you get them out. Dong 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 dong. <laughs> but there you go, cow mount. All right, so that's pretty much that. Now to make it a custom spell, you want to modify your spell DVC. You want to modify. I, th I think that's it. it. If it's already existing within the game, um, yeah, I think you just got to modify your spell DVC and probably your spell icon if you want to give it a new icon. But other. Other than that, I don't think you have to modify uh, anything else. If it's a completely new custom creature, you're going to have to do your, your creature DVC, your database, all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, I'll leave that for another video. If anybody's interested, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I probably won't be covering it anytime soon. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. This is for that one dude that kept bugging me. I forgot his name. Uh, I'll pop it somewhere probably if I remember. Um, yeah. Alright, so see you guys later. Bye-bye.